everyone. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to use Certifyum and specifically how to create your own custom templates and certificates to add on to your Google Forms. Now, if you have not already used Certifyum or you're not familiar with it, or you haven't watched my previous video, then I highly encourage you to go do that. That way you understand how this add-on works first before we go into more depth here, because we'll get a little bit techy here. And it's really not bad, but it is good to have that background knowledge first. So the first thing I did was I created a quiz in Google Forms, and this is also something I'm not gonna go too in depth with. Um, hopefully you have that background knowledge, and if you don't, there are tons of free resources on how to make a Google Form quiz on YouTube, and it's super easy. But really what I did was I came in and I put in the email address, full name, um, other identifying information that just helps me as a teacher to sort. Then the different type of questions are going to be in the sections below, because I like to separate the personal information of the students or the exam takers from these. And so here's some quiz questions. And as you can see, it's already set up for taking the um, quiz. And so if I click on this, I can see my answer keys are already good to go. They've got points assigned to it. Um, the correct answers have been selected. And just as a reminder, all you have to do is go to settings, go to quizzes, make this a quiz. And then when you go in here, you can click on that question and you can edit it. You could add the answer key and then select the correct answers as well. So that's just kind of what my quiz looks like. I think I have 10 questions here. Now, what I need to do first is make sure that my add-on for Certifyum is um, up and running. So if it's not already launched, you need to do that because what you really need are these tools down here on the right side. And it's important that I make sure that the certification is turned on. And then I select what my passing score will be. Now, what we're gonna do in a moment is use a custom template, but what we have to do is first build that. And to build that, you're going to have to create it in Google Slides. So I created a search in Google Slides. And you're probably thinking, wow, that looks so pretty. That must have taken you forever. I could never make something like this. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys that this took me like less than five minutes to make because my one of my favorite, favorite tools, Canva, has tons of free certificates that you can use and you can modify. Now, the text can't go over with it. But what I did was I built it in here. So I had something that I could recreate. And as you can see, it's like that template is right here and I just kind of modified it. But what that helped was when I recreated it in here, very easy. So again, what I did was I created this event and this is not the route you have to take. This is just like my pro tip that made my life way easier. So I created it and then just for the moment, I'm gonna delete all that text. And then I'm gonna download it as a PNG. And I've got that downloaded. Then I can come here and I'll just use this one as an example and make a new slide and get rid of all these funky little boxes. And one thing I did have to do is I did change the size of the Google slide. Um, so let me just look at this in the folder. So one thing I did was I just double checked by going to properties, depending on if you're on a PC or a Mac, that's just a whole bigger debate. And I just looked at what the pixel size was. So I saw that the pixel size, and this tells you it in Canva as well, was a 1056 by 816. So I just made sure that in the page setup that I had it set up for pixels and I had it set up for the exact same dimensions. Because what makes that really easy is that I can go in, I can upload that background and it's gonna fit perfect when I totally stretch this out and then center it. So as you can see, super easy, right? Now, what I did from here was then I just kind of had this open in another window and was kind of, and did control Z, command Z, depending on what you're on, and brought all this text back and just was like, okay, well, I'll just recreate it over here. And I recreate it over here. And Canva really just saved me a lot of time because again, the time that it took me to rebuild this over here just made it look nice. It made it look professional, but it didn't take a long amount of time and I didn't have to like break my brain trying to be super creative or develop something on my own. So that's pretty much what I did. I came in and I put in text boxes and then I built it as I would want it to look. Now, 
this is where we get a little bit more technical with certifying because obviously this isn't the information that we are necessarily going to want to show up in our quiz. So what you'll do is you'll come into the custom templates and I will link to this in the blog and in the video. And there are some directions. Now I'm going to walk you through these directions right now. But what you really do want to have open are these merge tags. And merge tags basically say that when somebody answers this specific question, this is the type of output that it will give when it emails it to them. So what we'll do is come in and replace this, the first name. Oh, and it's not, it's like frozen. There we go. And what I'll do is change, oh, there we go, this to full name with the brackets. And just need to make sure I match everything up right. So title, I didn't put any other identifiers in as you can tell, but you could put in other identifiers. I'll come in and I will change this to date. And then I believe that was percent. Yes, so I'll change that to percent. Okay, so I'll change that to percent. And from there, it's pretty much done. So it's really nice and easy. And then from there, I'll come into back to the quiz and I will select use a custom template. And when I select use a custom template, this window will pop up right away. And I will select the file that I created. And if you were just working on it, it should pop up right away. And it will take a moment and then you'll see that certificate was what I had it labeled as and it's now in here. So now let me just take the quiz real quick to show you what that's going to look like. So I'm going to come in and put in my information. Full name Megan Kelly. I'll just choose period one. It doesn't really matter for the certificate, but for collecting from students, it is useful. And I'm just going to take this quiz real quick and make sure that I pass it so that we will get our results back. So. And then let's just miss one for fun. We'll just say true on that one. So when I submit this, I can view my score, but it will also tell me that in a moment I will receive a printable certificate if I passed it. So when I view my score, I can see, oh, cool, I got an 8 out of 10. Um, and what that means is that I did pass it with an 80% or higher, and I should get a certificate in my email. And my certificate in my email comes in, and it looks great. I've got my name in there. I've got the certificate of mastery, the current date, and the percent. So as you can see, the custom templates are actually super easy to use as long as you use those merge tags and you make sure that it's in Google Slides. So if you have any more questions on that, please let me know and I would be happy to help you.